everyone. I wanted to continue on my inventory series and today I'm going to try and get through two products so we can get near the end. I'm going to try and do both bronzers and powders. So here we go. Starting over here, I have my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunlight. I haven't used this in eons. It's very orange. I could use this in my crease after I finish my Sunny, which I've been using up. Speaking of Sunny, this is a bronzer, but I've been using it in my crease and I actually really love it. You can see I've hit pan. Really, really enjoy this in my crease. This is a bronzer from Palladio. It has quite a bit of shimmer. It's okay. It's nice in the summertime. Here's a very bronzy one from Sonia Kashuk. This is Goddess, and it's beautiful when you have a tan. Another one for when you have a tan, this is Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil. Very shimmery. Another one that is really nice in the summertime when you have a tan is this Essence Sun Glow. It is very bronzy and has an orange tint to it, as you can tell. Beautiful though when I have a tan. Two of the Bourjois Bronzing Primers. These are really, really nice. Um, they do have an orange cast to me. I am definitely going to use them up. I don't believe that I would repurchase those. This Pop Bronzer in Secret Sunshine has quite a bit of shimmer to it, but it's beautiful. This Wet n Wild Mega Glow, you saw I just went through one of these in the Starlight Bronze. I really, really enjoy these. They have some shimmer in them, but they're beautiful. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, the Golden Bronzer. It has the same kind of colors, this Wet n Wild, as the Golden Bronzer from e.l.f. So from e.l.f. I have the Golden one I just showed you, the Cool and the Warm, and I like them all. I think I like the Golden the best. I have the St. Lucia bronzer and a backup of it. I have the Antigua bronzer, which is beautiful. And the Turks and Caicos elf bronzer. More elf bronzers, love these. These are more of a contour, it is uh, toffee and spice. Elf puts the name so tiny, I can't see what these are. These are their pressed powders. Love these. Again, I use these for contouring. Absolutely beautiful. There's no shimmer and they glide on beautifully. Another nice one for contouring is Too Faced, but I would not repurchase as many of these, in my opinion, are just as nice. Sleek Bronzer. I haven't even gotten into it yet. I got that at Christmas. The NYX Matte Bronzer. It's very, very nice. If you want nice bronzers that are easy to blend out, that don't leave any lines. They're matte and they do a gorgeous job of bronzing you up. Highly recommend the Physician's Formula. This is in light and this one is in medium to dark. Both of these are beautiful. I use the one in the summer and the one in the winter. Gorgeous. This is an illuminating veil powder from Physicians Formula. I didn't know how to use this. And you have to unscrew the cap, tap some of that into the lid, and then you put the brush onto it. It is quite messy, quite shimmery, but in the summertime, it is nice with um, a tan. The other thing I'm thinking of doing is mixing this in with an oil. Finally, this is the e.l.f. Bronzing Stick in Blazing Bronze. I didn't know how to use this. Several of you suggested that I use this to contour my decolletage, and it works beautifully. The Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer in Rich Bronze. This is beautiful as a contour product, but I'm not going to get in, do creams anymore. I like the powders just as well, and they last longer. So once I use this up, that will be that. So let's count these all up. So I have 29 bronzers. Revlon Nearly Naked in Light Pale. 
this is okay. Not over the moon about it. I haven't gotten into it enough really to be objective. The Physician's Formula Youthful Wear. This is in beige. I absolutely love this one. It's beautiful. My girlfriend sent me this Viva Glam. It's in pink. I don't know what I'm going to think of that. <laughs> I haven't gotten into it yet. Um, this is a wet to dry foundation from, I think it's from Palladio. And somebody raved about it. It's just okay. It kind of accentuates some of my fine lines. Essence, all about matte. It's very nice, but I wouldn't repurchase it. What I like better than my Essence Stay Matte is my Rimmel Sandstone Powder. Love this one. Have it in my purse. It's gorgeous. This is the one I would repurchase. Cody Airspun. Can you tell I like these? I put these on after my moisturizer, before my foundation. Makes it very beautiful. I don't use these as the finishing powder. These are just before the foundation, but I love them. I love a uh, Physician's Formula in Warm Beige, it's just okay, would not recommend or repurchase. These two Milani Multitasking Powders, love, 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 love these. They are absolutely beautiful. The e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder, this is the multicolored one. I know some people love it and swear by it, it's just okay. I wouldn't recommend or repurchase. My Wet n Wild. Reserve Your Cabana, love this. I use it as a powder, even though it's illuminating. I use it um, on my neck and in my, to set my V. Sometimes I even use it to set my under eye, as Tara Baby showed, and I have a backup. The Milani um, Cream to Powder, it's just okay. Would not repurchase, but it's okay, I'll use it up. Another Physician's Formula Powder, Again, this is just okay. This Jordana is very, very yellow on me. I will use it up. Thanks to my friend, Ms. Kristen, 321, 123, 321, I think. She got me into this e.l.f. under eye setting powder. Love it, swear by it, I have it, and a backup that Santa brought me. And then Santa also brought me this e.l.f. high definition powder haven't even broken into it yet. And this NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation. It's okay. 21 powders. Huh. Wow. <laughs> this is definitely, like I said, keeping me on track. Honestly, because of this, whenever I look at what I've got and focus on what I have, whether that's looking at my list that I'm keeping of the number of items of each, or whether I'm actually looking at my products, it makes it so I do not want to buy. I really am appreciating what I have, and that's the goal of all of this. <laughs> so again, if you're doing an inventory, I'd love to hear how many bronzers and powders you have. Hopefully we can help each other with this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you next time.